Alright. Time for some thaumaturgy. Here it is. I'm a turge. The funeral rites of the Order of Naldal has been focused and refined into what is known today as Thaumaturgy. The five brothers who lead the Thaumaturgy's guild have elected to offer you instruction in the dark art. Rival the sixth brother, however, serves to complicate your training. All right. First things first. Let me let me double check my spells here. Uh, for actions, these are my actions. Uh, all right. Blizzard, Fire One, Thunder. Here we go. Welcome to the Thaumaturgy's Guild. It is fate that you have guided your steps here, friend. Within these hallowed halls, the art of devastation was taught primeval magics with which to bring about an enemy's ruin. If you would join our ranks and wield the power of Thaumaturgy, I urge you to seize this moment and confide in me your arcane ambitions. Yes, there truly is no other answer, was there? Lean closer now, and I shall whisper to you of Thabataji's beginning. The nation of Uldar inherited its traditions from ancient Beladia, a city founded by the descendants of the First Mages. The secrets of their illustrious sorcerers, these illustrious sorcerers, were ultimately entrusted to the priests of the Order of Nardal, who has passed them, them down for generation to generation ever since. Focused and refined over the centuries of use in the Order's funeral rites, the arcane magics of our ancestors eventually emerged as, as the art we now know as thaumaturgy. <laughs> a freezing blizzard to halt corruption, a raging fire to cleanse the corpse, a bolt of lightning to expel the sins of mortal life. The Adilmas, Dwellers, employed in the preparation of the of the dead is equally efficacious, efficacious when applied to the living. Thus does our guild thrive in the depths of the Azarinthus Ossuary, the sanctuary devoted to Thal, the divine arbiter of the afterlight. Right. What say you then, Aventro? If you would plumb the abyssal depths of thaumaturgy, let our, let our learned sages guide your descent. Ah, but before you leap into the darkness, you must prove to our guild masters that you are possessed of the spiritual fortitude necessary to look upon what awaits therein. When you are ready to submit to the judgment of our most eminent mages, say the word. Well, Aventura, will you join our guild, or do you presume to ignore the urgings of the of imminent destiny? Or impatient destiny. 
A wise decision indeed. To prepare for your initiation, I would have you study the volumes of fundament, fundamental thaumaturgical principle, all 108 of them. Or at least I would, if such requirements had, been, had not been abolished. Too great a deterrent to fresh novices, he said. I suppose you shall have to settle with calling upon the collective wisdom of our guildmasters. We have five, you see, all brothers of the same house. Though they all wield supreme authority, is the eldest who proves the singular voice of the guild when one is required. Master Coco... Kokobi... Uh, uh, Kokobigo, I believe. Kokobio. Who? What? Oh, Thal's teeth, man. Did your mother never tell you not to start on the thaumaturge? Look at that expected face, Kokobigo. No, this gentleman is obviously a new applicant to the guild seeking an audience with our eldest brother. Oh, prelate ya. Oh, prelate Yakag. Yayaki. Yes, yeah, ex she can recite the one hundred. The 307 verses of the funerary rites of the vir virtuous fallen, but the simple task of keeping our names straight seems ever beyond our grasp. <laughs> well, I for one find the constant confusion endlessly entertaining. My apologies, good sir. My merriment was not mo not meant to mock you, as our sibling Kokobuki, of whom you would speak. <coughs> What's this? What's this? Thal uh, has sent us a new aspirant. Ah, Kokobuki, were you here the entire time? Greetings, child. I am Kokobuki, the eldest, I would venture to say the wisest of the five masters of the Thaumaturgist Guild. It is my solemn duty to furnish our would-be initiates with the succinct understanding of our beloved art. Thus, I would have you have your fullest attention. To wield thaumaturgy is to unleash devastation of the highest magnitude. The lethal force of our spells far exceeds the destructive capability of any other form of arcane manipulation. Fire, lightning, blizzards, dominance. It's the thaumaturge calls upon an expansive arsenal of offensive incantations to incapacitate and obliterate all manners of adversary. Open your mind to your sorcerer's teachings, and you too will soon hold the unparalleled power of our discipline in the palm of your hand. Mm. Of course, power has a price. You must be willing to plunge headfirst into the forbidding chasm of thaumaturgy secrets. And for advancement, this art comes only from the completion of deadly and terrible trials. I ask you now, Aspirin. Are you prepared to leap into the abyss in pursuit of the power unrivaled? Mm. Confident response. Your name, if you will. Very well. There it goes. And let's mark your initiation with three eminently practical gifts. My first gift is to you is an, ad is an addition to your hunting law. Names of such enemies will provide will prove suitable to your training as a thaumaturge. The second and third gifts are the scepter and shield, instruments you shall need to focus the destructive force of your will. Did you begin to believe your initiation over? My dear disciple, you are only just begun. Take your new weapons in hand and I will set you forth upon your first trial. Scepter hmm. well complements the advent desire for destructive power upon your feet. Now, we shall complete your initiation with the trial to test the limits of aptitude of channeling thaumaturgy. Huge hornets, star mammoths, and snapping trues inhabit this land in the abundance. Uh, exercise your sorcerer's might and slay three of each of these creatures before returning to my side.
recommended place to do that is outside the The gate of Nald. Hey, Saturn, the uh, Seder Saturn is going well. Uh, I am running through the Black Mage Thaumaturgy. Goody! Uh, no. Hmm. Uh, the satisfied look of a mage who has utterly vanquished his foes. Elgos, I formally welcome you into the Brotherhood of Thaumaturges. The purpose of this trial was to gauge your capacity of wielding thaumaturgy, the innate quality, the limits of which are bound by the level of etheric energy flowing through your physical being. Ether, the very stuff of life, exists within all living creatures to a greater or lesser extent. Remember this, for it is the most basic law of arcane manipulation. As your experience grows, uh, yeah, uh, have you seen the job trailer? You got you got to see the job trailer if you haven't seen it. it it's freaking amazing. Summoner, oh my god. Reaper, also I think Reaper, I was very happy for because I think the um, race of the Reaper that they used for the job changes, or, or for the that the job trailer <laughs> was a row. It, you, you see this thick boy just slashing around with a scythe. It's... <gasps> uh, sages seem interesting. Uh, makes me feel like they're like a disciplined priest. Uh, my favorite healer, though, is, has been the astrologian. Or as everybody else calls it, the astrologian. <laughs> But the job trailer was a. Hey, I mean, it's worth a shot. I mean, especially if you pre-order and get into the early access, you know, just <laughs> go pick up Sage and then, you know, start testing it out. Run, run a few trust dungeons. 
you just t use the trust dungeons because you know it's slow steady you can kind of like learn on your way and you've got kind of like the you don't have to worry about somebody yelling at you for doing something wrong less stressful <laughs> and plus you could use that to level the stage <laughs> oh have you not done shadowbringers yet uh. in shadowbringers once you hit your first dungeon uh you can redo the dungeon with trust which is basically uh character avatars initially as you're going through Shadowbringers, uh, you'll be able to. Oh, wow. You're you just went at you've only gone through Heaven's Word, so. You got two expansions to catch up on. Yeah, you have to get up to I think you just need to get up to level 70, so. Yeah, you got to get um, Stormblood, um, go through Stormblood and Shadowbringers and Shadowbringers is so good. Shadowbringers just a storyline. So good. Yeah, I mean, right now it's just a good time just to get back and even just play whatever your favorite, your previous favorite class was. Just don't worry about any of the other jobs. Gunbreaker's fun. Dancer's kind of fun. Um, yeah. I mean, I... I I'm a monk, personally. As your experience grows, so shall your reserves of thaumaturgical endurance. The wellspring of your magical might will also swell in response in, in moments of extreme terror and duress. While you find yourself seeking greater challenges, when next you crave the thrill of exquisite fear, then it, then it is when you... You shall know the time has come for you to visit me once more. Burgeoning power strains against the confines of your untried mortal shell. Same game. Shall we? Another trial you must have. From this day forth, your tasks and challenges will be shaped by the teachings found within Thaumaturgy. Yawning Abyss. Home pen by the renowned Thaumaturge Uzomaya. My brothers, who have not, not once tasted the bitter draught of defeat, will instruct you on the vital lessons to be gleaned from the four exquisite chapters that comprise this exemplary work. Much shall you learn about the, th the threats with which a practitioner of our art end. The first chapter, The Threat of Intimacy, falls from Coco Biogo. Coco Biogo. 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 It was per view. It is only fitting that one so versed being approached to teach you the wisdom to be un uncovered therein. Ah, uh, ah, yes, Elgos. Uh, I've been expecting you. Allow me to read to you the pertinent passages from the opening chapter of Zuzumaya's Guide. Ahem. <laughs> I love all the Cocos. They're great. The Threat of Intimacy. Ah, a magnificent potent power we wield, growing, growing fires, piercing ice, and shocking bolts are uh, matched not by fist or sword or spear. But the burly warrior waves f waxes fearsome with every closing step. Fists shatter bones, blades slide through flesh, spears puncture soft bellies. Know you this threat and stand you apart from such men. Uh, that last part makes me queasy no matter how much I recite it. The lesson, however, should be obvious. Keep your distance from your foes. Apart from the agony of being hit, or stabbed, or worse, you have the devil at the time completing an incantation when the enemy flailing its weapons at your person. Uh, thus the wise thaumaturge always strikes from afar. The further the better. 
Now, let us proceed with your trial. Take this dried fish and set it down in the vicinity of the Silver Bazaar. Next, simply draw back to a comfortable distance and wait for a vulture to swoop in to feed. That's when you ambush the tiny creature with a barrage of deadly spells. Once you have slain the scavenger, be sure to retrieve a generous slice of vulture meat for Fafofono. Fafafuno. He doesn't mind us conducting trials so close to his shops as long as he's properly compensated. Yes, Heligos, we pay him for his sorcery. Him in sorcery blasted bird flesh. What better to have uh, one of the most destructive mages be a Lalafell? Phenomenal cosmic power in an debated limit space. Why did that happen so fast? I'm level 73. <laughs> You're done making any use of my testing grounds, are you? And cough up the fee then. There's <laughs> nothing so tender as a bit of meat puddled by wanton wizardry. Nice to do business with you, Thaumaturge. Did you say Thaumaturge? Was this maid just completing a guild trial? Ah, oh, Master Alchemist, what brings you out to our bazaar this fine morning? This gentleman here just slew a plump vulture. You'd be surprised at how many of these scepter-wielding sorcerers end up sliced in ribbons by beak and talon. That's not the sort of flesh you're tasted for, you understand? My brothers! And... What I think is also funny funny is that tall Rogadin is being taught by a really tiny creature. <laughs> I mean, it could go either way. I, I said it taught, but if you go top, that's fine. Go for, go for it. Aha! Uh -huh. uh, welcome back, Elegance. You seem to have done well. Both sides intact. Face appears unshredded. It truly is the most terrible feeling to have one's casting interrupted by heinous injury. Huh. It's one of those easier trials, if you ask me. Capable... Keep well away from pointy, flashy, bashy things. We want to reach the end of your arc, arcane utterance. It's just common sense. 
Fortune favors the fighter, and who flings far, fire from far afar? I simply love the look of the loathing leveled, leveled by me by the distant duelist distract from my deadly downpour. <laughs> uh, these thaumaturgies excel at, an, at offense, but fail miserably at defense. Most effective strategy is to topple our adversaries with overwhelming force before they have a chance to respond. Honor is for knights, dead mages. Hmm. Elegos, your studies appears to be progressing nicely. It won't be long before you dominate the battlefield as an avatar of sorcerer's destruction. So it's true, Buki! Don't hide it from me, Biogo. Biogo? Or you, Bonnie? Or Bez Bezzy? Or Buha? Boha? Hmm. Coco Busi? What are you doing here? You promised. You promised you would teach me next. Well, yes, of course we did, Boosie, but Elagos was here was just most insistent. <laughs> but once again, you brush me aside in the hope that I have a better my heart's desire. Why do you define me? I hate you. I hate you all. Please, Boosie. You shouldn't say such hurtful things. You know how delicate Biogo is. Right, Brenda. I mean, they're, they're doing it for good reason. <laughs> um, that was Coco Boosie, our youngest brother. Who dearly wishes to become a thaumaturge like the rest of us, but simply isn't possible. Poor boy's etheric levels are pitifully low. We thought we had convinced him to accept fate's cruel quirks when he entered the Alchemist Guild, but he yet yearns to walk the path of thaumaturgy. Such is Kokobushi's det determination that he spends all his waking moments experimenting with alchemical concoctions, seeking a method of which he can expand his capacity for arcane manipulation. <clears throat> well, this is uh, obviously not your concern. Back to the abyss with you, you young thaumaturge. And I mean that in the most encouraging manner possible. Yes, Elegos, yes. The aura of power surrounding you is palpable. The glare be begins to be blind my thaumaturgist's eye. The lesson today will be taught by Coco Bonnie. Go to him and hear from the chapter entitled The Threat of Paucity. <laughs> Look, mind your ABCs when you're a mage. Always be casting. Ah, ha. So, Elegus, you have come to learn the foot of the third eldest brother, have you? Promise you, however, your education shall not be third rate. Let us read from the second cap chapter, shall we? Be settled? No last moment trips to the privy. Very well. The threat of paucity. Ah, how magnificent the ruthless power we wield. Fire, fire, flame devours ice in tombs and the lightning courses through the stricken bodies of our foes. But oh, such desperation when the wellspring runs dry. Flame flutters out, ice melts into slush, lightning sparks no longer. Know you this threat and mind you the limits of your mortal vessel. Yeah, maybe. Mind you the limits of your mortal vessel? A terrifying thought, isn't it? A thaumaturge who has exhausted his arcane reservoir reserves to naught but a man with a, stick and, with a stick and a funny hat. For we mages, we may as well equate the etheric energy flowing through our veins with our very lifeblood. Should we a battle fi find us lacking in this precious resource. We are as good as dead. 
Controlling the expenditure of our power requires an understanding of etheric balance. The scales can tip in one of two directions, astrally or umbrally. When your mind and spirit lean to an umbral direction, your thaumaturgy is affected by a state known as umbral ice. The potency, the potency of your spells is diminished, but you also require less energy to invoke. On the other hand, a thaumaturge in the astral fire state will find the potency of his incantations enhanced, but at a greater cost to his etheric, etheric step. Now, with the concepts of etheric balance in a fit, Efficient casting. The foremost in your mind, I bid you go forth and slay. Eight Fs. Pray, do your best to stay alive. It reflects badly on me when the mauled corpse of one of my pupils is returned to the ossuary. So it's a way of like balancing stuff out, you know, and it kind of gets you in kind of a rhythm and a rotate in, in a rotation. Yes. I do how like once I get to to uh, level three of uh, Umbral Ice, it basically is all my frost spells or ice spells are free. Did I somehow aggro like creatures above me? Okay, I need to stop at a vendor because I'm picking up a whole bunch of junk. Is there a vendor around here? Yeah. What's that noise going on down down below? Oh, it's just a guy exploding in ice. Although I kind of don't like Blizzard too because it's an AOE around you and not your target. That explains freeze. I think they're renaming those or modifying those. Parker. I think what probably will end up happening for me is when um, a walker comes out, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run through all my classes <laughs> and adjust all my hotbars.
Ha! Ah, you arrive before me, before me, upright and breathing. Wonderful. So much simpler to pose questions to a student without having to resort to necromantic divination. Uh, tell me, Elegus, what action would you take if you found found your ther thermological endurance exhausted in the midst of battle? Uh, flee. <laughs> oh, most practical indeed. A discreet withdrawal to await the replenishment of your energies is a sound strategy. But should there be the nowhere left to run, a vial of ether can be your stoutest ally. Ah, uh, ether. The draft of the gods. We thaumaturges, indeed, any who practice the arts of arcane manipulation, value this substance above all others. Thus, it was with the un unbridled fury that we received the most recent report of beastman activity. It seems an emulsion raiding party has attacked a caravan on the trade routes and made off with an entire crate of precious ether. The time has come for you to put your new knowledge to the test and not light these emulsion bandits and retrieve the cargo of ether-filled vials. According to the report, their armored war transport was last spotted to the south of to the south of Drybo. Ah. I believe Kokobuki has an additional request. While you are busy incinerating the mulch, be sure to collect some samples of their blood. Assuming you can draw any of their smoke, draw any from their smoking remains. Of course, one thing about Final Fantasy XIV is you don't have to pick anything up to loot anything. It just auto loots. You just kill something, you may be like 100 feet away or whatever your max range is, and you kill it. It, it dies, and then you get the skin. <laughs> I, what I really would love for them to do, and I think this would make things, some things. What I would really wish they would do is have like... I wish there was something where you could skin creatures. Like, you kill something, and you could skin it to get the hide and stuff. Because there's sometimes, like... One thing that really annoys me about something in Shadowbringers is that... One of the things for the leather workers is like, uh, on her skin or thing, And you can get it by trading in... Bicolored gemstones, which you get from completing fates. Shadowbringers. There he is. And two for the regular quality and four for the high quality. But they also do apparently drop from this one mob in this one area. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I'm just going to go farm it. So I went to farm it instead of having to do fates because I don't like doing fates. Uh, I do them only when, like, there's a direct and major reward. So, I went there and I killed, like, about 20 of them and none of them dropped anything. None of their skin. It's like the drop rate is, like, 0.1% or something. That's an exaggeration, but you get get what I mean. I wish there was a way, like if you were a leather worker, that when you killed the creature, you could like click on it and skin it. And then, while well, sometimes uh, for drops, they'll have like five of something if you actually go and skin it. If you actually were able to skin it, you maybe get like one or two maybe even. So it's not like a high amount or some sort of like set amount for just get it instead of what drops. To me, it'd be a little more active and liable.
I can kind of see why they wouldn't like add that as a gathering profession because it's essentially a battle job with a follow-up action. But like if you had leatherworking at an equivalent level of the creature level or something, you should be given the option to be able to click it to like etheric production uh, 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 synthesis where you don't have to actually be in the actual profession. But depending on what your level in that profession is, is you can still synthesize or you get different results depending on what you do, that sort of thing. It, it would definitely help with stupid little things such as, let's say I don't want to do fates, but I still need this leather. I've tried to hit the market board where you have to rely on the fact that somebody else had either purchased it or somehow got actually got drops for it. By the point. Do I detect the scent of ether? And I trust, trust that stench is algebra. Algebra. Oh, ho, 10 vials, 20, 30. The sight of so much ether is just so very comforting. What have we here? Coco Bonnie, is that... that the, is this the crate that was stolen? The Elagos' lessons have had the desired effect. Hmm. I assume the vile viscous liquid you have there is Beastman blood. Coco Busi will be pleased. Should be pleased. Kukabuki, you left word for me to, to visit the ossuary. Have you finally decided to, to begin your my training in thaumaturgy? Ah, Kokobusi, good of you to come. Elgos here was kind enough to obtain a supply of Amalja blood. Thank you. An alchemist acquaintance of mine explained how you had been using the substance in your research to create a mana amplifying elixir. Naturally, is much interested. Naturally, we are much interested in the results of, of such experiments. You see, Boosie, your work as an alchemist already puts you in a position to work alongside us. You need to become a thaumaturge to be part of our family? Oh, Algan Tombstones. That's a... I mean, when you're at, like, max level and grinding out, like, the max level... Stone stones, that's that's a pain. But poetics while you're leveling, that's not as bad. Especially if you throw in a few uh, SQ or MSRs, main story roulette, main scenario roulette. You get a lot of poetics from. Poetics basically is what you use for everything in the earlier expansions. So eventually the Shadowbringer stuff that's currently allegory and revelations will turn into medics. That's right, Boosie. Besides, the battlefield is a dangerous place and our skills are not exactly suited to keep keeping others safe from harm. I see. This is just another attempt to dissuade me from pursuing my true calling. I do not want to, to cheer you on from the safety of my workbench. I want to fight at your side. Lucy, you just cannot stand the thought of you being harmed. Pray, do not do anything foolish. Pray, do not do anything foolish. I remember what I used for Okabuki. <sighs> I do apologize, brother. Sometimes forget how difficult it must be not having a natural aptitude for the cane arts. As I mentioned before, in Alagos, Kokobusi is dangerously unsuited to be wielded to the wielding of thaumaturgy, even with the proper training, he would be unable to cast metrics as we can. Were you to attempt to force a manifestation of po power, the drain of his etheric reserves would likely kill him. And I, and let us not dwell on the unpleasant circumstance. As for you, on the other hand, are brimming with thaumaturgic potential. Remain diligent in your studies and do not cease in your efforts to expand your wellspring of power. Shucks. Thank you, refreshment.
That's all right. Don't worry about that. Oh, 15. Hi, my logos. The Yardin Abyss beckons once more. One more Thaumaturgy quest. Today, Coco Bezzi will instruct you on the chapter entitled The Threat of Superiority. Threat of Superiority. It, it's been a long time since I've done these quests. It's kind of entertaining to do these again. You have come for your lesson, Elagos, then heed all my, well, my words. The threat of superiority. Ah, how magnificent the intimid intimidating power we wield. Flame sears the air, ice frosts the ground, and lightning flashes with blinding incandescence. But not all are cowed by our elemental fury. The ignite not your flame, summon not your ice, and strike not with your lightning. Know you this threat and stay your hand against such foes. Once you cut away all the overblown imagery, the passage draws attention to important tactic. Why Slamaturgus does not engage in battle unless against opponents he cannot defeat. A fine example would be to avoid conflict with the law's multitude of furious merchants. Those soulless raven creatures are afflicted with the madness of insatiable avarice. Do you perhaps recall the crate of ether you retrieved from the Amalja bandits? Well, a number of irate peddlers have arrived at the guild with the gall to demand recompense from the few measly vials we'd emptied as our just reward. All right, yes, we drank the entire bloody box, but the point is that the guild can, cannot presently afford to pay such a sum. Thus, I pass on to you the secret of, of my last and most potent defense. Shameless weeping. Shameless weeping. Not, not speaking of a few tears here, I want to... You stride right up to these tyrannical traitors and cry your eyes out. We just, we just really needed that. What? You needn't cry about a few vials of ether. Later, it's, I'll tell you what. Uh, you dry your eyes for me and I'll take, take care of the loss out of my own purse. <laughs> it, 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 I just, it, it, uh, all right, son. I knew you're the one who chased down these Amalda brutes for us. I'll let you go this one time for your sake. It's me. I'm just new to this. It's trying so hard. It, it's not that. Oh dear, I'm not angry at you. You understand? It's those five ether adult brothers who take issue with. You tell them the next time this happens, I'll have the price taken out of their unprincipled hides. <laughs> Shameless. A masterful performance, Elagos. The sniffling was a nice touch. You will, however, encounter foes who are unmoved by such piteous wailings. Take this recent request for this instance, which I was nominated to serve as your next trial. A team of scholars has asked for a thaumaturge to destroy a cursed relic they unearth is known as Mor Mormo's Urn. A pottery is by and by and large immune to te tears. It is an Alcaran thieves is the Alcaran thieves that s subsequently stole it that concerns me. The Alcaran the Alcran are an organization of criminals not normally known for their, gen their gentle or understanding dispositions. Rather than attempting to engage an entire gang of their thoughts, I would suggest you neutralize the threat to your person with a well-timed sleep spell. The Alcran have been traveling in the southeast of Drybone. Find them and destroy the urn they carry.
Yeah, it's the Gilded Magitek Cur. Cur. Um, armor. I'm gonna do this out on this. I need to kill each one of these. Let's go. A moment, if you please. Please allow me to shatter that urn. I, I thought that if I assisted you in your task, then my brothers might finally deign to take me seriously. I followed you. What have we got here then? A couple of nosy sand rabbits are about to get skinned. Oh dear gods, where did they come from? That was simply incredible, Elagos. Wish I could wield the same sort of power. He became an alchemist in the hopes of creating some manner of mana amplifying elixir. 
But all my efforts have been for naught. The results have been far too mild to make any difference. You'll never be a thaumaturge like my brothers are at this rate. Forever be pow pitiful, powerless little sibling. Nomo Zern. If I destroy it, then maybe my family will see that I'm capable of. Wait, 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 wait! Don't you dare break my urn! Huh? What the? Is that piece of pottery just talk? Are, are you Mormo? The Voidson? Hmm, <laughs> yes. Well, yes, I am Mormo. in a grave well yeah I mean that was the point that we were going to destroy it anyway so not sure if it's really gonna help in any case because well you know etheric at least etc I am Mormo but I but I'm once of the one of the nice void sent it was the nasty ones that sealed me up in here for me Helping a mortal, if you'd be so kind to open the lid of my lid of my urn, would be happy to grant you a wish. Anything you desire, fa fortune, fame. I would just blasted it if he he showed things like don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. All of this seems terrible, terrible idea. I'm not really interested in fame or fortune, but perhaps there's one thing. I would like to have etheric power to e power to equal that of my brothers. <laughs> power it is. A perfectly acceptable wish. <laughs> no listen to the disembodied voice. This is totally true. You just don't. This is bad. It's all bad. It's a bad idea. I don't know why I don't stop him! A perfectly acceptable wish. In fact, I sense the late nobility buried with it deep within your spirit. It will be a simple thing for me to tur turn it loose. What more is there to think about? Open the lid. I don't know why he has to pick it up to, to open the lid. No, no! Hmm. Well, I don't feel different at all. I think Mormo has maybe have been lying. Come on, Legos. It's time we're leaving. Oh, weren't we supposed to break this urn? That is that. Yes, this will be be much fun. Um, I mean, it'll be nice to return home after all this excitement. Well, shit. So, Coco Bezzy, I hate to say this to you, but your brother actually showed up and then he opened the urn and this like little black orb kind of went inside it, inside him through his mouth. I tried to stop him, but it was a little too late because I was just so for not trying to encourage him not to do it. This is why you need to wear masks. <laughs> uh, 
Welcome back, Alagos. I'm glad you, to see you making a habit out of not dying. Uh, before we discuss for your trial further, however, I would ask, the, uh, ask you about Kokobusi. When I saw him just a few moments ago, he seemed odd. Well, odder than usual. Would you happen to know, know odd of it? Yeah, Kokobusi joined me at the trial. Kokobusi was at your trial? It is extraordinarily dangerous and foolish to interfere with the thaumaturge's training. I shall have to scold him more heartily. Ah, such unpleasantness aside, I'm impressed that you claim victory in spite of the unexpected development. Each of the yawning abyss have served you well. With your experience and control thus demonstrated, I believe you are ready to add a new spell to your repertoire. Gaze. This elementally neutral blast of force will prove effective against all manner of potent opponent. As I'm sure you are eager to test this incantation's efficacy, I shall grant you leave to return to your train. Hmm. Pity the next hostile creature that crosses your path. Learn Scathe. It's a spell that nobody really uses in the Black Page of Thought Church. I think I was just safe. I feared you would fall victim to the Mage Slayer. Have you not heard the recent spat of gruesome killings taking place within Roldar? Each case involves at least one dead thaumaturge, and every corpse is found bloody, battered, and utterly drained of etheric energy. Little tidings aside, I'm glad to see you alive and glowing with vitality. It is time for you to delve into the final chapter of the Yawning Abyss. Kokobuha. Kokoboho. Kokoboha. Our second youngest sibling will read to you from the threat of perplexity. <laughs> Greetings, Elagos. Are you well more prepared to peruse the page? Are you once more prepared to pursue peruse the pages of peril and per power and peril? Let us begin. The threat of perplexity. Ah, how magnificent the daunting power we wield. Flames pursue, ice transfix, and lightning dances into the ranks of our enemies. And what terror descends them when all from all sides, whose ranks close, flames are smothered, ice crushed, lightning grounded. Know you this threat, and where you the multitudinous of foe? Is the point of this passage really apparent? It would be more, most problematic. For example, should you meet this malefic mage there and he or she and proves to be m multiple murderers, what a thaumaturge needs is a thick-set thrall or a, a courageous companion to, to accompany him in cases where collective cronies are c expected. Now, now, as far as for your trial, Kokobuha, pray allow me to suggest a practical clause for for Elagos's training. The town is abuzzing with the news of yet more slaughtered thaumaturges. Their mutilous bodies found found in the waters of Nothico's wells. I would have Elagos aid me in hunting down the culprit when the trail is still yet fresh. Elagos may have to tolerated your interruption of his trial the last time, Boosie, but you are hardly the you're hardly the hardy henchman he needs to clear such a hur hazardous hurdle. Your concerns are understandable, brother. If it would allay your fears, I can introduce Elagos to a valiant warrior who has recently entered my employ. You have secured the services of a stalwart swordsman, then that would. It would indeed be in line with learning the lesson of the day, perhaps. <laughs> Come now, Nelagos. Let us let us be about our business before Coca Bo Boha has a change of heart. I'll be waiting for you in Africa's wells. Was that Coco Boo?
Wait. Yeah. That was one place, but it was actually another. Glad I double checked. Where are we? We're at level 20. We got two more quests before. Switch over to Black Mage. Got a rogue in. Ah, uh, Elgo, so good of you to come. My rugged and friend here is a warrior I mentioned back at the Ossiary. And now there's no time to waste. I'm doing t good today. I have taco soup finished and it's currently staying warm until I finish my stream. And I've been playing Final Fantasy IV. Great. Hope you're doing well as well. No, there's no time to waste. Why don't you head into the stream and examine the bodies of the slain mages? I would go with you, but with my delicate stomach, I fear I might uh, contaminate the scene. Remember, you're looking for anything that might help you track down this killer. Taco soup. Pound of ground beef, an onion. Um, two 14.5 ounce cans of uh, diced tomatoes. Um... Taco seasoning, like a, if you were making taco meat, that amount of thing. Um, a can of corn, a can of chili beans, a can of kidney beans, a, like a four ounce can of diced chilies or jalapenos if you want to go a little bit hotter. And a four ounce can, small cans of uh, tomato sauce. And then the recipe also calls for water, but I usually just don't add it. None of those beans are drained by me. Or in with the bean juice. It's delicious. Taco soup it up, or um, add some grilled cheese to it. It's delicious. How did I get this? I think it's one of those things where it just like suddenly showed up and it's like. Learn from the achievement, every, uh, everybody's darling. The achievement is acquired by getting 500 player commendation. Which honestly, over the course of just playing the game and then giving them out and just the commendations, you basically kind of spread the love. Do you uncover anything incriminating? Play scepter, shredded tome, and a bloody bra bracelet. Mm he. The blood is still yet, is still yet slick to the touch. The slaughter must have been recent indeed. The villain may yet lurk nearby. Return to the creek where the bodies lay and linger for a time. I dare say your aura, saturated as is with enticing etheric energy, will lure the mage slayer into the open. Have courage, Elagos. Our burly companion stands ready to leap to your aid. Offer yourself as bait. 
that's not ominous. It's like, eh, I'm not sure if I want to do that. Anyways. Time for a solo DD. Come on. Okay, it's a little harder than I thought. Very easy. That takes care of room. I'm off to collect my coin. It seems our partnership with your higher blade went splendidly. It's unfortunate though that one of my one of the imps was able to flutter away. Oh, did you not notice? You wouldn't wish to report to Kokobu of your trial, but have finished, would you? Of course not. I'm, fr I'm afraid, however, that the brigade in was already collected his recompense and departed for the nearest alehouse. What to do? What to do? Hmm, surely a thaumaturge of your caliber can handle a single imp, yes? Not mistaken, it's fled into a little cave over there. Hurry now before it slips away with some hidden nook of tranny. That is not Coco Busi. Well, it is Coco Busi, but a Coco Busi possessed by a void scent that's escaped from 
More Mozern. Is feeding on the etheric energy of all those slain thaumaturges. <laughs> and you, my dear Manorichelagos, would be next. I've wanted to absorb your delicious power since the moment we met. A pity. This is, has been m such an amusing charade. However, did you see through it? <laughs> I am Kokobusi's brother. How could I not? It is time I destroyed you, Mormo. And not a... Not to stop to put a stop to these sinister killings. The eldest I must take responsibility for my family's misadventures. <laughs> Coward like you? Destroy me? Your omitting strike should have pierced my heart, but instead you aim for the knife. Fear stays your hand. Fear that slaying me will also slay your sibling. <laughs> Poor spineless thaumaturge. I shall, however, leave you with a pleasant thought. It was Coco Boosie's firm and wish to amass the power. He craved the arcane strength to stand beside his brothers as an equal. Shame that he must now stand against you. <laughs> Pains me to admit. But there is some truth to that creature's words. We rendered the, the perfect opportunity to end this. I betrayed my own teachings. Turn to the Oswari and report the completion of your trial, Elagos. I will remain here for a time in other must thoughts. Ah, Elagos, Kokobuki has advised me of your adventures. It seems the mage slayer is the way, but your stint with the swordsman was nonetheless successful. Consider this chapter complete. Your time with our Tome of Teachings is at an end. Mm-hmm. Well, to be absolutely accurate, this is there is an addendum with additional advice, but Kokobuki considered it extracurricular. Even I dare not delve into that diabolical depths. Not yet dying to deign to die, you understand. I have yet to inform my brothers of Kokobusi's misfortune. Yet to reconcile the maelstrom with my own mind. The most fundamental lesson of thaumaturgy demanded I slay the creature where it stood. Most opportune moment to strike. Minimal risk in victory, all but assured. How many, many more will suffer for my hesitation? Cowardice. I will likely be some time, however, before Mormo surfaces to kill again. Now that we have uncovered the deception, the Void Saint will seek a new hunting ground where Kokobusi's face is unknown. And though the respite will be brief, I must devote this time to considering my next course of action. Hey, my musings, Elegos. Ah, Elegos, I saw you coming this time. Ah, Elegos, I saw you coming this time. Been more watchful, been more watchful since Kokobuki told told us that dreadful business with Kokobusi. Must locate our unfortunate younger sibling as soon as possible and and deal with him. Kokobuki is not his usual unflappable self. It frightens me to see our eldest so indecisive. It terrifies me, in fact. Perhaps you might speak with him, help banish this air of uncertainty. 
As it goes, long have I agonized over Kokobusi's plight and the measures I might ta take to execrate him from it. It would not do to call upon my Thaumaturge's colleagues. No. They simply seek to obliterate my brother outright. Our teachings from the yawning abyss allow for no other alternative. There is, however, one tiny glimmer of hope. I've had word that the scholars have requested the destruction of Mormo's turn have returned from their expedition. They are currently in Camp Drybone, blow blowing the ink dry on their collective findings regarding that wretched void scent. I would ask that you go to these experts for other of otherworldly phenomena and beg permission to peruse their work. If you seek the uh, de definitive work on Momo, then seek no further. I have penned an in-depth analysis of the most, cunning, the most cunning ritual, a method contrived by the Mage's Veld to annihilate the soul of this especially potent void scent. And when it comes to draining such a creature of its etheric energies, one must... Uh, but I have not the time to stand here explaining the intricacies of shaping it arcane pottery. Here, take my chapter and read it to, at your leisure. You wish to learn of Momo? Right, this instant? But we barely... How did you... Well, I suppose I could share a copy of my writings. It's already prepared s several extra sets to share with potential publishers. I can well understand your curiosity. Mormu was truly fascinated, even among the oddities of the Void Scent. She is far too powerful to make use of, an use of the tiny holes that open between our realities, and thus must send across only her spirit to possess a corpse or some other suitable hopes. You'll find it all explained in the second chapter. Alright, last one. You, you're interested in reading our Book of Mormon? Of course, of course. It would be a pleasure to share our findings with the fellow student of the Void Scent. Here's the first chapter. My own humble contribution to our research. It tells the tale of how we became aware of the creature's existence and delved into the nature of the urn that imprisoned her fell power. Oh, and we get lag. Downside.
Take the long way. Or this should. Zoning! I guess this really didn't help. You have the three chapters of the Book of Mormon. The histories unearthed the ruins of Sildi. It depicted suffering wrought in the singular, in a singular pervoidant, the cunning and terrible seductress known as Mormon. With genius born of desperation, the mages of the now fallen fallen city fashioned an urn that would dra drain and imprison the etheric vitality of any creature that laid a hand to fall upon it. Momo believed she was re was receiving a gift of appeasement from the beleaguered citizens, found her very essence drawn forth and trapped into the ensorcelled pot. Over the course of several centuries, the captive etheric energy was weakened and distant, allowing his, any surviving descendants to safely Shatter the urn and thus destroy Momo's venerated spirit. The pot's lid was never to be opened again. To do so would release the ravenous void scent and free her soul to engrave the nearest mortal vessel. As possession of this nature was irreversible, the only mercy afforded such a, such a host would be a swift and decisive demise. Hmm. This explains Mormon's fixation on thaumaturgicide. Right. Kokobusi's body provided little arcane sustenance of the weakened, weakened void scent, forcing her to prey upon Richard's source of ether to restore her hideous The morsel of information may prove most vital. In fact, it may be the only glimmer of hope our poor sibling has. Pray hand this work over to Kokobigo. Kokobigo. I shall momentarily. Ah! Uh, this is work devoted to studying the nasty void scent. I should help approve some some hint of salvation. Uh, Kokobuki, these passages hold naught but misery and despair. It seems we have little choice but to employ our traditional approach. Though fraught with danger, there is one solution that promises an alternative to killing Kokobuki. If, if we fail, however, it would likely mean death for us all. 
Who is this mad mage that poses as our eldest brother? Uh, what of avoiding threats, of eliminating the risks? Is that not how we thaumaturges do battle? With each passing pass moment, Momo draws ever closer to her full strength. It pains me to even suggest it, but we should strike now, Kogi, while the voice sound is yet feeble. I share this self-same sentiment. Sorrowful though it may be, we may slay up we must slay our enslaved siblings in soon. Listen, brothers. Solution thus, in return for releasing Kokobu from Mo Momu's thrall, I will offer the Void Scent the chance to glut herself on my mana. <gasps> you cannot! The succubus will train you to a lifeless husk, and such a feast will awaken all of her terrible magics. The well of her power is vast. I wager Momu's thirst will be slacked before my before my spirit fully runs dry, and the newly enlivened voice in, she will then face the combined wrath of Elagos and four guild masters of Thaumaturgy. Gee, how can we hope to prevail against this paragon of, pe of preternatural potency? We have always adversaries among against whom we held no advantage. The fault lies with me. Never have I encouraged such avoidance and taught only the wisdom of certain victory. It's time you the courage to fight battles of unsure outcome. It is, and it is you, Elagos, that I ask to instruct us. There is yet one chapter left in the Yawning Abyss, one that is customarily hidden from newer members. Undertake the tri trial found within and show my brothers what it means to be brave. <laughs> uh, how can you ask such a thing of war Elagos, when even her, his guild masters have yet to attempt that ghastly test? The arcane might you all possess is far greater than you believe. Because, when you deem yourself prepared for the lesson of the true final chapter, meet us at the hallowed hall of Thal's respite. go around. You know, I'm just, there. something else I'm doing is, something else that, that I'm doing is, hmm, is that working or not? Not a bad thing or anything. It can be a little difficult, a little tricky. I can't remember if I did this right first time. This is... Wait. I don't have my... I regret to have dragged you into all these troubles, but I'm confident that the many and terrible trials you have uh, be bested already, you will prevail once more. The hidden chapter of the Yawning Abyss presents a trial challenges the accumulated knowledge and skills of a single thaumaturge. You must employ all the tools at your disposal if you hope to seize victory this day. Let the trial commence. I'm gonna do this at normal. Alright. If I don't, I'll just put it at easy. Fine. <laughs> oh, because I'm a 29, I can use Thunder too.
Three you can. The next set is at hand. Once again, you defy the void in the final nightmare approaches. That'll work. Uh, good stuff that's shaking. But I think this may have been actually excitement. You see now, my brothers, with the primal energies of Thaumaturgy at your command, there is no threat that you cannot overcome. Perhaps there is a chance to save Kokobusi. I need to reconsider some of my strategies. It seems we have been wasting our potential. You'd never have believed it possible for a mage to show such courage and live. What a wonder Elgos was. I feel my fingers itching to fling fire with fury. Hmm. hmm. Imagine my sim Towering enemies you might topple should you stand firm. Gather. Thank you, Elgos. Your inspired display of magecraft has set the minds of my brothers reeling with new possibilities. Let us now return to the guild and discuss what is to come. I think of what I could do if I was able to put on my Black Mage Stone and this at level. Yeah. Uh, nope. No DMing. I am not DMing till October 31st, which will be the first episode of Bears and Dragons. Uh, Out of the Abyss, Campaign 2. Just because I thought it was apropos. What a formidable team you have all make. You all shall make. Coco. Coco Biogo. Bigo. Coco Bigo. Coco Body. Coco Bezzy. Coco Buha. There it goes. Even more more must wither before the onslaught of our combined thaumaturgy. But before you engage, we engage the Void Scent, perhaps some time is needed for my brothers to unlearn their ingrained inclinations. Meanwhile, I suggest you hurl yourself in the chasm of your studies. Your fearless thaumaturgy is as a beacon to all of us. To us all. Alright. Final thaumaturge quest. Hmm. Fortune has favored us, Elegos. Okabusi has been spotted at Vesper Bay. We cannot let this opportunity pass us by. Head there with all due haste and with you take these descriptions of my brother's likeness and Mormon's mannerisms. Relay this information to some of the local residents and see what we can find.
I already used all my investor, so I can't just teleport directly there. I do not do, do any DM training because I don't think I'm good enough to train anybody to be a DM. I can give like general hints and trips, but most of it is what I've learned from watching Critical Role and other like more experienced DMs. Uh, improv, by the way, improv is, like, if you could get a chance to do an improv class. Um, it's great because, I mean, being a good DM, the, the big thing about being a good DM is you're a good DM as long as your players are having fun. So, you may not be like the majestics of the amazing, the watching Dimension 20, yeah, uh, Brendan is amazing. Um, just, if you just like go around and just watch how other people, people do it. As long as the players are having fun though. So, one of the people that fall into a trap is like, I'm not as good as Matt Mercer. It's like, no, but that's okay. Are your players having fun? If they're having fun, you're doing a great job. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 people people get Matt uh, Mercerisms or, or mess, a Merceritis. I don't know if <laughs> would probably be the best way of saying it. Yeah, it's it, being familiar with the rules, and you don't have to be 100% familiar with the rules either. What's that, son? You say you're looking for someone. Yeah, this person. Hmm, I believe I saw your Lalafell in the company of a couple of adventurers hailing from Limsa Liminsa, Marauder and his Somitage, where... Well, it has a guest. I think they were talking about seeing the area north of here. Um... Yeah, don't com the big thing is not to compare yourself to the um, but learn from them and just kind of like getting the experience. Like a lot of what I know about about things is because of A, I've read the books. I've read this stuff. And I know how to access the information. Like, how does that work? I had to quickly pull it up. You know, D and D beyond is great for that. Hmm, something I can do for you, stranger. Oh, you mentioned it. I did see Lalo Ferro match this description. He was watching the ferries come in from with more of a passing interest, looking to hire some adventurers and such, I get reckon. Just note like a lot of things, it's just about knowing how to find the end. Not necessarily able to have it on top of your head. Like, what's the specifics of one condition? Know how to look that up. Know that all your plans, uh, just like in war, all your plans, everything you've planned, um, is, is great until uh, works out uh, until you get your player or <laughs> until you interact with your players because the player's going to do something. So having a little thought of it, that's where improv comes in. Just pull, th pull shit out of your ass. It's pretty much it. Oh, Brandon, yeah. I can see that. I mean, either way, it's the same thing. <laughs> don't cons <laughs> don't think I'm not good with Brandon. Yeah, it's fine. 
the big thing is the players are having fun. Write write shit down. Like if you're gonna have a big dramatic scene or something, just write something about it. Give help them get into the world if possible. Welcome to the piss piece of what can I get you? And I just look for this person. What information is it? I that little bloke was in here bringing a book. Bringing a blush to all the young maidens' cheeks. What he lacked in height, he certainly made up in boldness. Left lives more than one lass on his arm, he did. Hmm. The Mormo has chosen this as the new hunting ground. Maidens seduced by the succubus were prepared as vessels. Fully with full power. Here they will, all, they will have already been slain. As for the adventurers, well, you can imagine what Momo intends for the armature. You must find it more in those unwitting Liminsons before the void then strikes again. Told that they might be headed north yet. North, yes. Best for you to follow suit. Uh, still here. It's still here, somewhere close. Me. And thanks, lad. Ah, oh, me head. Hello, bastard said he would give us a grand tour of Voldar. Aye, it's been grand, all right. Please, took me mate further north. I think he was muttering something about moon trip. Elegos, what is Pafon? That's the president of always sent, but it appears you have things well in hand. Uh, uh, Momo is in moon trip, a fitting place for the battle to come. It is time to finish this, my brothers. Okabusi will be a slave to that fiend no longer. I shall approach Mormo first as we discuss. If the bargaining proceeds smoothly and the void sent feasts on my pr proffered manners, that she should soon manifest in a demonic form. Once Mormo is fully present within the realm, then it is when we unleash the deceiving power of the abyss. So, after lecturing for so long and on how a thaumaturge should avoid such threats, I yet hold doubts as to whether such a direct conflict is the correct path. Legos, in your experience, what do you consider to be a thaumaturge's grace? Overwhelming destructive might. Yes, there is none who can match our propensity for fiery ruin. Need not run from danger, but rather employ our unrivaled powers to incinerate all that seek to do harm. I am decided. My fate awaits me. I have faith that no matter what becomes of me, you shall succeed in destroying Mormo. Oh, ending her threat in the, to this realm. I'm going to do this very easy because if I remember correctly, this was really hard and I'm not used to the old thaumaturgy spells. I need to be my full black mage. Enough, Momo. Well, well. Isn't it the eldest of the cowardly Thaumaturge brothers? I thought you were busy whimpering under your bed, wishing that I would just disappear. I've come to offer you a deal. I know you seek the etheric energy needed to substantiate your true form, and how much time you do. But how much time do you intend to waste feeding on these lesser majors? Compared to these. Stripy, st stripling sorcerers in their tremendous arcane flame and trembling arcane flames 
My power is a blazing sun. Would you not prefer to take what I can give you? <laughs> Drain my strength and assume your rightful appearance. I am sure you think me a coward, but that is no consequence. I only wish Kokobusi returned to us unharmed. <laughs> you are wise to acquiesce, mage. <laughs> at last, at long last, my true body, my true power is mine once more. I believe is stretching the old arcane muscle, the Norta. Oh, oh no, you, you don't avoid scent? We won't l l l let you leave here alive. <laughs> so you risk your lives in a valiant rescue attempt. You should not bet that you are not prepared to lose. I shall tear the ether from your very marrow. I'm on my own. No, for centuries I've dreamed to escape, I will not be done. We won? We won! Victory is ours! Kokobusi! Kokobuki! Mormo is dead! Where am I? 
Thanks so, all, you're awake, Kokobuki. Wake, Kokobuki. Kokobushi has returned to us. Uh, our sibling is yet to stir from his summer. summer. Okay. His etheric channels are contracted. They're barely sufficient to sustain the flow of his life force. If we do not increase his capacity of ether soon, his vitality will drain away completely. My mana amplifying potion. Its potency is limited, but it just might be enough. I see the battle has ended. I expected. Yay! You did it, Kokobusi! Your alchemy saved him! And we would not have been prelayed without you, Elegos. You bear our brother back to the Osiri, Osio, Oswari. And you pray meet us there, that we might properly express our gratitude. Man, just doing the Amaturge's quest. <laughs> it's two hours. I guess they're more involved than the board quests. <laughs> Took me two and a half to do all the uh, Archer and Bard quests for Roman Born. We might have to split this into uh, two parts. I'm kind of getting hungry. Pick up tomorrow. Thank you, Elegos, for seeking ref after seeking refuge in the comf comforting shadows of the abyss for so long. I've lost sight of the blazing glory of which Thaumaturgy is capable. The raw power and audacity of your magecraft has freed my brothers and me from our self-imposed cowardice. I thought Thal himself had his finger on my throat, and the sensation of hard-won supremacy is strangely satisfying. As for you, Kokobusi, you are our brother, our respected colleague. Hope you never again underestimate the precious power you wield. I guess you have exceeded all my expectations. In recognition of your outstanding growth as a sumptuage, I will impart to you one of the guild's most closely guarded techniques. Mana Ward is the defensive weaving of energies that blunts the force of any attack made against you. Hmm. So you can understand why you do not teach a secret to every stray hedge as whether well you choose to join our ranks. Know that you have experienced the deadliest threats and the joys that come with their obliteration. I'm certain you are eager to explore just how deep you might descend into the chasm of thaumaturgy. May your struggles bring wisdom, and your wisdom bring courage. I, for one, look forward to hearing your future thaumaturgical endeavors. Mm. Man of War. That is all the thaumaturge quest. I am hungry. It's getting later. I ran a little. So I am actually going to cut this short. 
will I will continue the Black Mage tomorrow and then follow that up with Blacksmith. Which will be fun collecting stuff. And then we'll we'll also have botanist point in time too. Yeah, you're welcome, uh Seder Shape Saturn. Thank you for joining me. I will. Everybody have a good day. Good boy, I love you. Something like that. I don't know.